Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to see if there's any truth to the Emily Ratajkowski, Brad Pitt rumors. Is this just the PR machine of Brad Pitt trying to keep him relevant or hoping that if they put this on page six, it'll come true? We're gonna find out, all right? So the reason that I am a little skeptical, not totally skeptical, I'm, I still think it's definitely possible that they could be cavorting or hooking up or running around together. But the reason I think it's important to be a little skeptical is that Brad Pitt's team, meaning his PR people and his lady acquisition people, they will sometimes just put things in the press and then just wait for it to manifest. You know, like a model or a young starlet will see her name in connection with Brad Pitt and then they'll reach out and it kind of gets the wheels in motion. It's kind of like his way of telling, you know, a hot young thing that he likes them or that he's like potentially interested. So there have been more and more of these dropped onto page six presumably by Brad's team. Uh, my question is like, I've never seen a photo of them together, not even one taken surreptitiously by someone else at a party. So I have so many questions about this, you know, if it's even real, if it's even happening. And on the low, what I've heard about him is that he runs around with a lot of like blonde reality stars from the UK. I know that's so specific, right? That's what, that's all I've heard. Okay, so before we start pulling some cards on this, cause Lord knows I wanna know, let's look at this aspect astrological compatibility. So Emily Ratajkowski, she's a Gemini with an Aries moon. So Brad is a, yeah, he's a Sag sun with a Sag rising and a Capricorn moon. So this is a bellissima combo for Brad. And I never say that. If you watch this channel, you know I almost never say bellissima. So historically, Brad does great as a fire sign with fire so heavy in his immediate chart. He does great with air signs. Jennifer Aniston, Aquarius, air sign. Angelina Jolie, Gemini, air sign. Who else? I don't know. Let me, let me look something up. What was Juliette Lewis? Juliet Lewis was also a Gemini. And uh, you know who else was an air sign? Gwyneth Paltrow, Libra. The man needs an air sign woman in his life. I mean, look at all this evidence. So his longest relationships of all time have always been with air sign women, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And he seems to do particularly well with Gemini women. Who the heck knows why? But if you think about it, a Sag sign is kind of like, I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm going to chart my own course. I'm the archer. I'm not quite human. I'm not quite horse. I'm a, I'm a centaur. And the Gemini's like, yeah, we're crazy too. We're twins. There are two of us. And they're like, he's like, okay, that's fine with me. I'm weird too. Like, I don't know. So it's very promising at just, not just from their immediate astrological charts, but just from the fact that Brad's historical dating data shows that he does well with Gemini's and all air sign women. So here's, let's get going. All right. So here's what I want to know. Have Brad and Emily Ratajkowski met? That's what the first thing I would like to know. Have Brad and Emily Ratajkowski been on a, on a date? Have Brad and Emily Ratajkowski hooked up? Okay. Okay, is Brad really seeing a lot of other people? Because sometimes I always say that, you know. Is he really seeing a lot of other people? And where's the energy heading? Okay. All right, let's get going. Okay, so have Brad and Emily Ratajkowski met? in real life. Oh, um, that's a weird card to get. That's a weird card to get. I don't know. This is a weird card, guys. I'm, I can't green light the fact that they've met. So we just got the two of swords here. So in the two of swords, the person is stuck. They're frozen, they're blindfolded, they're not moving. And the idea is that they're afraid to make a decision. And the warning of this card is that if you don't make a decision, the decision will be made for you. And so we asked, have they met? And it's sort of like stuck is the answer. Like the, if we had a, could summarize this card with one word, it would be stuck, frozen, not moving. So I'm wondering if they've met. Yeah, so let's just put this aside. Let's see what other cards we get. Okay, so have Emily Ratajkowski and Brad Pitt been on a date? I don't even know. I, 
We've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this upright, that would mean like, yeah, they've been on a date and it didn't go well. This in reverse is suggesting, no, like they're both, it suggests separation. It suggests that the two travelers are going in different directions and things are destabilized and that they're both having a hard time. So this is, I, I don't, I don't know that they've even met thus far with these cards. Okay. Have Emily Ratajkowski and Brad Pitt hooked up? Oh, this is interesting. Um, so we got the King of Pentacles. That's it. We got the King of Pentacles. So we asked a card of like, have they had special time? You know, have they hit any of the bases on the baseball diamond? And we got a card that signifies Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt sitting on his throne with his nice stuff and all his money and all his clout. Um, just kind of looking at this pentacle in his hand. So I don't think they have. I think that this is a fabrication is thus far with these three cards. Okay. How many other women is Brad Pitt releasing? It was something about that. Like is Brad Pitt releasing other women? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, so we got the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is a card of like new beginnings, new opportunities, trying to make things happen, a new path. But it can often, you know, because it's, it's, it's an image that resembles certain things in life, you know, on the male anatomy. So this could, to me, this means like he's trying to hook up where he can, like he's trying to, you know, get it done where he can. So like, yeah, like it's stuff is happening as much as he's trying to manifest it. Okay. And where is the energy hem heading between Emily Ratajkowski and Brad Pitt? Oh, oh, okay. Not what I was thinking. Not what I was expecting. Okay, so this, I didn't expect this. So we got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a very optimistic card or not so much. So with this card, this is something that comes up for, let's get in focus, for generational wealth. So it's like creating something. It's like creating a legacy. So it's like the happy domestic home, uh, the happy union that creates wealth and abundance, not just for yourself in this lifetime, but for, you know, grandchildren, great grandchildren. So it's a great deal of promise. There's a sense that this union would be blessed by the ancestors, as we can see this ancestor here who's kind of like watching things over. So it's a very promising card between them. It could just mean like they're both gonna create this for themselves separately and that would be really not cool of the guides to do that when we ask such a direct question but sometimes they do but this is something for us to continue to monitor but what I will say based on these cards that we've gotten thus far I don't know that they've ever even met I do not know that they have ever even met there's nothing here to suggest that they've met or that they've been on a, on a date together. These are very weak, weak cards about their connection. So as I always say, let's continue to monitor the situation. Comment below about your thoughts about Emily Ratajkowski and Brad Pitt and the whole shebang bang. Like and subscribe and as always, we'll do this again.